Mariah Nagasu had a historic performance at the Olympics in February. The Southern California native was the first American woman to land a triple axel at the Games. And soon after that triumph, we saw Mariah on the red carpet on the Oscars with fellow skater Adam Rippon. And now they're both headed to the dance floor, and we're going to see them on Dancing with the Stars. And Mariah and her professional partner, Alan Burstyn, are here with George. Hello again, George. Oh, hello, and thank you for taking time out of your rehearsals. I know this is not going to be an easy season because... Athletes are the most competitive of competitors. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what's your competitor nature? 10? Obviously. I'm ready for this competition. My feet hurt because I'm not used to not being in skates, but um, we're doing it for the Mirabal Trophy. Well, you've got someone who loves to dance, and he is also a bit of a jokester. Is he doing anything behind the scenes that... I mean, not yet. You know, since it's so competitive, I'm really, we're trying to hit the ground running. You know, we're not even <laughs> doing a week one dance. We're doing like a week seven dance. Which is the salsa. Yeah. Yes. It's a really intense dance with a lot of tricks. And, you know, Mariah's worked so hard. I'm channeling my inner Megan Trainer. That's what we're <laughs> dancing to. And so I'm, I'm trying to be a unicorn on the dance floor, even though it's a little uncomfortable <laughs> for me. I'm better on the ice for sure. Why do you think she could be a dance champion besides, besides from being a skating champion? You know, it's, it's all about the determination and that she already has a little bit of musicality, but her hard work is what really takes her to the next level. You know, she doesn't give up easy. Even if it's upsetting or discouraging, she never quits. So that's the best thing about her. So it sounds like you have a great attitude. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I cry a little bit, and then I said, Alan, we need to do it a thousand more times because I want it to be perfect. <laughs> what would you like people at home to know about you who aren't into sports, who didn't watch your um, medal-winning skating? That was my Olympic dream, and I worked 20 years to get to that point, and then to be here on Dancing with the Stars. Um, it's a different stage, but I feel like... This whirlwind that has gotten me here has been amazing, and I'm just living in that moment. She smiles when she talks a lot, so I think you're treating her well, and she's enjoying the experience. I hope so. I'm really enjoying the experience. It's a lot of fun. We're doing it together. And yes. that's new for me, because I'm so used to being out there alone. So it's great to have a partner like Alan. So it's key for people to love and adore you as soon as you hit that dance floor the first time. What do you think you would like America to know about your personality or your work ethic or who you are that will say, we've got to vote for her? Um, well, George. Yes, Mariah. I think that the best part about me is that I'm a faller, so I fall all the time, but I get back up and keep going, and that's what people love about me, my persistence. And, you know, in 2014, I didn't even make it to the Olympics, and so to make history at the 2018 Olympics, it's a dream come true. Last question to Alan. How many weeks before you see a 10 from the judges? Ooh, no, there's only four weeks total, <laughs> I so know. I'm hoping for at least one We're week. We're working for a 10 mean, right now. If there's a 10 possible this week, I think All right. our hard work will pay off. Well, if you'd like to see these two and root for these two, don't miss Dancing with the Stars Athletes when it begins Monday night at 8 o'clock right here on ABC. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.